first we measure the coconut oil 300 gram we put the used cooking oil this is a highly toxic chemicals that helps to saponify our soaps after the soap saponify everything will be secure left with a good bar of good handmade soap 180 gram of water now we slowly put the NaOH into the water that we have just measured Okay, at this moment, that will be a lot of uh, gas. So please uh, make sure that your ventilation is good. That's why we switch on the fan. Okay, and also exhaust fan. So we'll put a thermometer here to measure the temperature. And while doing that, we need to stir. So the temperature was go will go as high as almost 100 now. It means it's super hot. We need to wait for the temperature to come down to 60. The essential oil, measure the essential oil, which is 10 ml for our dispatch of soaps because we're going to make one liter or one, uh, one kilo worth of the household. Okay, so, so now we have like six, uh, at 60 degrees right now. Careful that this process is going to be very hot too. So we just have to stir it, become milky and slightly thick. We call it tray. Let it tray for a while. You can see that the oil is getting milky. You will need to measure the second round of water, which is 80 grams. We will add in second round of water. The color will change to even more milky now, so it looks like you know teh tarik or coffee. And we can smell the food from the cooking oil too. But don't worry, after when it becomes the soap, saponified, all the smell will be gone. We pour it into our mold, which is the used cotton milk, milk carton. Pull it off. Fill it. When you touch it, it will be very warm. It will saponify into soaps. So leave it there for at least 24 hours. This is how we use it in uh, as a dish washer. What we do is just wet the sponge and then rub it off okay? and then you can just clean your plate.